Okay, this Land Cruiser, the 100 series behind me, I got stuck in my own driveway and um, I don't know what even happened. I was stuck in the snow and I like gave her on the gas and all the wheels were spinning and then I slammed on the brake and somehow I piled up my front diff. Like I, I'm pretty sure I destroyed my front diff. I was really hoping it was just a CV axle, but I think it's the front diff. Anyway, so this truck is... Uh, Needing, uh, yeah, some kind of rebuild on that front end. Um, I better start digging into it and actually see if that's what it is. Everything is smooth there while I'm spinning it. I blew something up for sure, though. Because... It was not sounding good at all. Like it was, this thing couldn't even drive forward really. It was bad. Drain that and see what it looks like inside. There we go. Yeah, that'd be shards of metal. Well, to get this front diff out, I need to uh, unhook these CV axles from the diff itself. So I'm just going to unhook some of the wiring in here, unbolt the upper control arm, and uh, then I can maybe pop that CV axle out just to try. Yeah, so pulling that CV axle out, you just have to unbolt one, two, and then three lines, three bolts. And then there's not too much tension on this and not too much tension on this one either and uh, I just have a bungee holding it so it doesn't go any further and, yeah so that CV axle is out I can go do the same thing to the other side the problem with filming in this garage is this damn heater is loud it kind of ruins the audio that's why I'm going to be getting a radiant This summer I'll do that. Okay, I'll do the same thing on this side. Okay, got this side all separated. And one thing I screwed up on was when I was bashing on this to try and pop it free. I should have had a little bit of thread sticking out because I wrecked the nut. I smashed the nut all up. There we go. And she's out. Okay, so last night I worked on this thing till 1230 trying to get that diff out. I just couldn't get it to like spin properly to get out between the frame and the motor. Uh, it was just hell. Like I've done one of these diffs before on a uh, 2001 Forerunner. The diff seems like the same, same size, you know, pretty similar, but uh, <laughs> I'm struggling with it. So anyways, it's the next day and uh, let's try it out again. Let's see what I can do. I feel like I can... Uh, and actually last time I did one of these diffs, I did it by hand. Like I like bench pressed it and like moved it around and brought it down onto me. Like it is pretty heavy, but.
Yeah, like this cross member, it's four bolts. Two there, and two over there. <laughs> That's probably my problem, like, I didn't really look around until now. Yeah, I'll take that out, and we'll have no problem. Now let's open her up and see the damage. So for the 100 series Land Cruiser, I need to get myself some new uh, pinion and uh, ring gear. So I was going to do an ARB locker, but um, I think I can just put a new ring on here and uh, call it good. It'll be a $200 fix compared to a I don't know, $2,000 for an ARB locker. Okay, this thing is ready to go back together. Put the bearings back on. Right now I'm gonna pull the seal off. I can pull this bearing that's out of there right now and get things rolling. Oh, got it. You got it? Are you filming? No, I was doing this. Well, look at it. You have to do it again, I guess. Pull back in there and do it again. Nope. Well, I just pulled this one out of the freezer and give this one a boil. Hopefully it can slip on nicely. All done. Tabs bent. So yeah, I need to know the width of this. That's why I have to take this apart so that I can match this. And when I put it all back together, that uh, that the pinion and ring will sit nicely together.
So I was waiting around for someone to ship me a new ring. I think it's called the oil storage ring. Um, and so someone was telling me that they've done enough of these diffs and they just knock them out and leave them out. So I'm just going to knock it out and leave it out. So I'm going to knock these races out along with that ring at the same time. And so I'll be knocking it this way. So this is the rear bearing. And then the other one in here is the inner bearing or front bearing maybe so yeah I'm gonna knock it this way first so yeah I'll be knocking the oil storage ring and the race at the same time and then I will not be replacing that ring because somebody told me I don't need to so I don't know if it doesn't work I learned from this experience <laughs> that's how I seem to be with all these builds I just kind of learn from experience maybe that's the best uh teacher it costs me lots of money sometimes to learn like this but i don't know it works it's worked so far i just pay that little extra there she is this ring the oil storage ring i think is what it's called it sounds important, doesn't it? But I was told the race. Next up, the race. I think it's called the front race or the inner race. So my plan is to put this in like this. And then put these on top of it. And then this on top of that. This might be goofy, but um, this is just kind of what I'm coming up with on the fly. So my press can press on that and uh, I'll try my best to get a nice even uh, press into there. I was thinking, should I freeze it? Make that race even smaller? Freeze it for a bit, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just try it out with some grease or oil or something. Okay, I got it, finally. I put a plate on top of the second race and then two extensions to reach. And it's working. It is in there. ready to start putting all this stuff back together. And my plan here was this. Will that work? Yep. So I'll put it in the press and uh, press that bearing on.
Well, I think I have it where I want it to be. It's on the higher end of where they say. And uh, throw the paint on the gears and uh, check the contact pattern from the ring and the pinion. That doesn't look too bad. Heel contact, face contact, toe, flank, proper. So, does mine look like that? Take this flange off and I can put the seal back on. Just like the smallest little bit more. The tiniest little bit and I can't go over. there so in the FSM it says to tighten this to 80 foot pounds I did not do that I just tightened it till I was at my desired preload so I don't know I guess let's go to 80 and hopefully it doesn't go over I missed that step kind of maybe I've gone to 80 already Yeah, it feels too tight already. So what I'm going to probably have to do is, since this has the crush sleeve eliminator, probably have to add some of these. Oh yeah, we're way over. Well, I have to take this all apart again. So I can add some spacers in there on top of the crush sleeve. Okay, attempt number four, five, I don't know. Okay, let's just go to 80. And another thing I'm not sure about is Am I wanting 13.9 pounds just with the pinion? Or do I want 13.9 with the pinion and ring? It's tough to say. Oh. It's looking, it's feeling like our number. That's exciting. I think I'll call it good. Maybe I'm getting too picky. Well, that's exciting if I'm calling it good because this has been taking me a long time. Like, way too long time. <sighs> okay, all dirty.
Okay, so we are not in spec. I don't know how big of a deal it is, but uh, we are at 10 thousandths of an inch. And it says in the book that we should be at between 5 thousandths of an inch to 7 thousandths of an inch. Okay, I made the scary decision to call this good. Yeah, it's a scary moment to decide. Okay, I'm calling it good because what if it's not? I just don't know fully, but um, enough research I've decided. It's good, we're calling her good. We are ready to throw it back in. Oh, this took way too long. <laughs> it took me a long time to figure it out and order everything up and do it all properly. So, but I learned, you know, every time I do something like this, I learn a little bit more. Kind of swept it up in here, got it cleaned up. Got my computer telling me, start from here and go backwards the same way it all came out. So we'll be working our way this way from right here. Okay. Oh, I did not stake. I just thought about that now. I've not staked my nut. I just remembered. Golden. This will be tricky. <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, baby. Daddy? Yeah? Can I go inside the thing? Oh, the tent. The tent, I'm going inside it. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off in here. Can I sleep in here? Okay, my wife's gonna come out and help me. Maybe I need help. Maybe, I don't know. Well, if my wife can come out right now and start jacking, not me, the jack. You the dog shit rug? You don't have to lay on it. What do you want from me? What do I want from you? Yeah, didn't you want my help or no? Yeah. This jack? Start jacking it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh Jordan, if this vehicle falls on top of you, 
gonna be all my fault. It's gonna be all your fault. Okay, I'm gonna bring this jack towards me. Okay, jack again. Stop. Pull the jack back a bit. Yeah. Okay, there. It's on. It's more. Oh. Tighten. Right. No, other way. Yeah, there you go. Tighten. Okay, stop there. Let me break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do the trucks lifting. Okay, whoa. Oh, shit, sorry. No, you're good. You're fine. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I know what's I know what's hitting it. Oh yeah. Okay, Jack, catch up to that. Deadly. Deadly, that was the hard part. Okay. Okay, I think uh I'm good, babe. Okay. I think I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so you torque it, and uh, she's in. And then all I need to do is put this uh, brace back in, and drive shaft back on. Um, CV axles, CV axles can go back on. And uh, <sighs> hard work, took a long time months the truck's been sitting here for months so i'm really excited to get this thing out of here so anyways i don't know if i'm gonna film the rest of putting this back together maybe i'll film a little bit but almost there yeah it just rubbed off okay first things first I need to get the CV axle back into the differential. Okay, I got the pail with my little pump. Got it in right there's the fill. You can see back in there. Fill it until uh, it starts drizzling out. This thing was a good $50 investment. My old pump was like one of them $15 ones and oh, that was brutal. Why did I do that for so many years? Good plates are on. And I guess now I can start throwing some wheels on. That's exciting. Okay, so these booster cables like almost reach to the driveway. So I'm gonna pull the van up tight as I can and see if I can reach.
come on, I see like an inch. Oh man, we're so close. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. It's hooked up and stretched all the way it can be. Well, let's give her a go, see if she starts. Good sign. Good sign. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Kind of the moment of truth. I put this differential together. Everything that I put together typically works, but uh, it's my first time doing this stuff, so. Yeah. So right now I'm in diff lock, center diff lock, because I couldn't get in the garage when it was broken. So I had to use all the force I had. Throw some windows down so I can hear what's going on. I'll probably start with taking the diff lock off. Okay, it's off already. Truck is rolling. Scary almost. 